Should a cryopreservation be needed, there are several ways that we are notified. In most cases, there is forewarning before death. For example, when a condition worsens or a terminal diagnosis is given. In this case, you yourself should inform us at the earliest point possible so that we can send one of our medical standby teams to you. While much more rare, of course, unexpected death can happen, in which case we would rely on other methods to be notified. In your welcome box, you receive a member's bracelet and card which contain instructions on what to do in an emergency. The welcome box also contains five emergency instruction cards that can be given to friends and family so that they know how to contact us if something happens to you. There are also other documents such as a last will and patient advance directive that we strongly recommend members create for extra security. Information about these are also given in your welcome box. Additionally, we are currently developing an emergency notification app that is compatible with wearable devices, which would send an automated message to your emergency contacts in case of an unexpected death. Once we are notified, we will dispatch whichever of our professional medical standby teams is closest to you. The team will dispatch with one of our specially equipped ambulances, like the one I'm in right now, or by plane if you are far away. Our teams will do whole body field cryoprotection, meaning you will be fully perfused with cryoprotectant solution and brought down to negative 80 degrees Celsius. From there, you will be packed with dry ice and transported to the long-term care facility. For maximum stability, our patients are stored with a nonprofit organization in Switzerland. At the facility, you will then be placed in a thermal doer filled with liquid nitrogen to maintain cryopreservation. There is no electricity used to maintain cryopreservation, which secures our patients against power outages and makes long-term storage economically feasible. So, how long are patients kept preserved? The answer is, however long it takes until future medical technology can treat you. You see, most of the money you pay for a cryopreservation is given to a patient care trust, which has the sole responsibility of keeping patients safe and preserved. The patient care trust invests the cryopreservation funds into very low risk investments, which yield three to 4% annual return. 2% is used to cover inflation and the remaining 1-2% to covers the running cost of keeping patients cryopreserved. This system has been used by other providers to successfully keep patients cryopreserved for over 50 years, despite multiple financial crises and conflicts. This system has been carefully thought out and tested to ensure the maximum stability and security for our patients. Once reanimation and treatment is possible, the maintenance funds will be used to return you to the land of the living so that you can enjoy your extended life. I hope that I've given you a better understanding about how this whole process works. If you have any questions, schedule a consultation with us. We are always happy to give you more information.